three out of four panels that I was in, in which I could uh, talk about this, about the spirituality, and it was also quite easy to make obvious that I am 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and uh, a poet, but also a priestess, and that the one does not exclude the other, but that it includes each other, and that in language I also talk love, and I talk nature, and I try to transform the reader just by giving him or her a beautiful poem that tells something about my love in the world in which I hope to be the voice of my people. I got this invitation and I knew I was going to Indonesia and that it was going to be emotional. So I talked to my brothers, I talked to the cousins who were born here. And then I did something very special. I am a voodoo priestess, that means that I have altars in the home. I have also an ancestor altar. On my ancestor altar, I, I keep stones from my graves of my papa and my mama. I took the stones with me. These are stones from the graves of my papa and mama. So now my papa and mama are in Bali. Okay. You know, I get very emotional yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? You have to yeah. take a while? No, it's okay. okay. You can show this. Okay, okay. We're talking emotion here. A poet is the one who should give form to emotion with language. But the priestess should give form to emotions with bodily language, with rituals. So now you can show that I'm emotional, that's good. All right, so are you going to write all these things that you just mentioned? Yes, I have already uh, consented to write an article in an, in, um, an expat Indonesian in, uh, in the Netherlands magazine. That was, uh, my embassy asked me to do that when I was explaining how much I could relate to Balinese Hinduism and being a Voodoo priestess. And so they asked me to do that. The, the, the magazine is called Musum. 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 Okay. So you already, so you already write that? I already write notes to, to be able to do that. And then, of course, at the site, I think poetry will come out of it, likely so. Especially if I uh, hear good written poetry, and I have heard a lot of beautiful poetry, that also is very inspirational. But this country certainly does it to me, yeah, the nature, the, the, what, the, the sacredness being acknowledged, the, being the holiness of nature being acknowledged in Hinduism is for me is very important. Okay, so are you going to write down in the future all this background, this study, is that your emotional experience? Lo logically, everything will come out in, in a poem, yeah. Even the birds, I think, in the garden of the hotel that I'm staying in. And I love also wearing a flower because this morning I was wearing a big red one, but it has crushed already. The hibiscus, and now I'm a frangipani. Frangipani does not grow in my country, and I love the scent of it. It's beautiful. I cannot explain the scent in a poem. I would like to try to explain the scent of frangipani. It is, <laughs> yeah. I have heard that, yes. Well, I think, I think it connects beautifully to, to where it is housed in, 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 in Ubud itself, because on every place you meet writers and, they, and um, the people self are very aware of it, so they are talking to you down the street when you're wearing the tag and in the course of days they realize that you, you're a poet, that I'm a poet. And that, that makes it really a, a community thing, but I think it's very good. It should not be outside of that. It should be a vibrant thing. So, Mm -hmm. right word, uh, what your personal I think because it connects good to the audience and it good get, connects good to the writers among each other, that, that is very good, yeah. I would like to, like to have seen more interconnection between the Indonesian writers and the other, any other probably mostly white writers. And I tried to do something myself because there was a session with Indonesian writers on Wednesday morning. And I went, to, 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 I went there at Alida Ubud early in the morning. I went there and I addressed them and I, um, I explained a little bit what the situation of writers is in Europe, especially in the Netherlands, because, well, we have something that is different from elsewhere. If you are published by a literary publishing house in my country, they publish all your work. So they say they publish an author, they do not publish a book. That's, that's what they say all the time. That's different from anywhere else in the world.